Yennefer of Vengeberg is a title of utmost prominence in the Witcher universe and is associated with the most powerful woman in that world. Her role in the Witcher books and the Netflix adaptation has deeply connected her to Geralt of Rivia, making them the dynamic duo of a sorceress and a witcher in an already long, compelling story arc. Unlike many female characters in fantasy stories, Yennefer defies standard tropes by possessing the traits of pride, stubbornness, and immense power, refusing anyone to walk over her or underestimate her capabilities. Capabilities. No doubt that Yennefer's extraordinary magical capabilities have granted her a life filled with everything she could ever need. Yet, it comes with its own bittersweet aspect, which forces her to make life-altering sacrifices. Throughout her life, Yennefer faced difficult choices, constantly torn between her ambitions and the path she should take to achieve them. Her exceptional character stands as a compelling and complex figure, defying stereotypes with her struggles, all while balancing her desires and the consequences of her magical abilities. We will explore Explore the anatomical intricacies of the magnificent Yennefer of Vingerberg and discover what makes her one of the most powerful mages in the Witcher universe. So without wasting another moment, let's get right to it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Unveiling Yennefer's enigmatic birth anomaly, a rare phenomenon in the Witcher world. In the Witcher universe, Yennefer has always been showcased as an exceptionally powerful mage who is not devoid of the necessary tactical knowledge needed to survive the complicated political spins across the continent. In the latest Witcher season three series released on Netflix, Yennefer takes Cirilla to give her a glimpse of her true background when Ciri just assumes that everything came very easily to her. Season one of the show covered Yennefer's transformation into an all powerful powerful mage, but more intricately. In both the shows and the books, Yennefer was born with a rare congenital condition and faced a very challenging and traumatic childhood, enduring the torment of ridicule and mistreatment from both her family and the villages of her native Vengerberg. This condition left her with a hunchback and a misshapen jaw, setting her apart from others and subjecting her to cruelty of a society that often fails to embrace differences. In the Witcher's books, Yennefer's early life was marked by emotional hardships, as her father never accepted her as one of his children, and eventually left her mother for another woman. Even though Yennefer's mother was kind to her, she started detesting the girl and blaming her deformity for their plight. She became the constant recipient of abuse, until Desea de Vries noticed her for her potential, giving her a safe haven in Eratusa. In the Netflix series, Yennefer's background story was slightly twisted, and in fact was more disheartening to watch. Neglected by her family all her life, Yennefer grew up in the barn, sharing a corner with the livestock of the house. Her father could never even speak to her without calling her an abomination, while the villagers always mocked her like she was a bizarre entity of sorts. When Tisea came looking to recruit her as a novice in Eratusa, Yennefer's father sold her at a price lower than he would sell one of his pigs, and described Yennefer like she was some commodity who was of no use. In Eratusa, Yennefer manifested her true potential, becoming one of the most powerful sorceresses in the Witcher world. Even though she faced many obstacles and even tried to kill herself on her first night, Yennefer went on to have a mind-thwarting transformation after embracing her power and unleashing her chaotic aura in the Witcher realm. Unraveling her elven lineage in the Witcher world. Witcher enthusiasts might agree that Yennefer of Vengerberg's elven lineage is a significant but little known aspect of her character in both the books and the Netflix adaptation of The Witcher. But as the powerful sorceress strives to embrace her true identity, her elven lineage becomes an integral part of her complex and multi dimensional character. In the original books, it's revealed that Yennefer's mother was a half elf, making Yennefer a quarter elf by blood. However, in the Netflix series, her bio biological father is depicted as a half-elf, resulting in the same elven ancestry. Yennefer's mixed heritage plays a crucial role in shaping her early life and experiences. In the show, her hunchback is attributed to her elven blood, which tragically leads to her half-elf father, who was wiped out in the Great Cleansing. You know how in Marvel and other fictional universes, when the union of magical elements with human design usually leads to superhuman abilities? Well, in case of this fantasy setting, elven genetics are way too 
powerful, and hence, when it merges with a human gene, the overwhelming magic of the elven half overpowers the human side, resulting in such bizarre deformities. So naturally, when Yennefer's mother remarried again, her human stepfather always rejected her as his child and subjected her to all forms of abuse, probably because of her elven heritage alongside the obvious deformity. This theme of prejudice and contempt towards elves is recurrent in the Witcher world, and Yennefer, unfortunately, becomes a victim of this discrimination. In addition to this, at the esteemed Eratusa Academy, where Yennefer received her training in magic, her elven ancestry became the source of disdain among her peers and those arranging appointments at the court. The prejudice she faced due to her lineage ultimately denied her the appointment she deserved, further highlighting the societal contempt for elves. But Yennefer didn't let this stop her. When she wanted something for herself, she simply snatched it in her own twisted way, like the time she took Adrian from Fingilla by simply overshadowing her with her charm. Despite the challenges and mistreatment, Yennefer's elven blood is also the source of her innate magical talent and potential. In both the books and the show, it's suggested that her elven heritage grants her more profound inclination towards magic than regular humans, making her naturally gifted in certain forms of magical practice. In the Netflix adaptation, Yennefer reveals her elven lineage to Istrid, her first love. During a poignant moment in the Danim Bay Temple Ruins, a place with immense magical power derived from elf bones. It's Istrid who helps her achieve her current transformation into becoming a true embodiment of beauty and power, with the help of her excruciatingly painful magic enhancements that demand to crack open and reset every deformed bone in her body till she becomes the epitome of perfection. Throughout her journey, Yennefer's transformation is not merely physical, but it's also an evolution of her inner strength, determination, and the ability to rise above the challenges imposed by her elven heritage and the cruel world she inhabits. Examining Yennefer's Reproductive Potential in the Witcher Universe In both the books and the Netflix adaptation of The Witcher, almost all mages are infertile because of the enchantments they undergo to complete their initiation as a sorceress. But in some aspects, mages can give birth, even though it mostly ends with the child driven insane. As a sorceress, Yennefer's infertility was a consequence of the powerful magic she underwent to transform herself and attain beauty. In the show, this aspect of her character was emphasized, particularly during her time time at Eratusa, where she sought to shed her physical imperfections and gain power, beauty, and control over her life. When the Brotherhood replaced her position to the Nilfgaardian court, Yennefer missed the initiation ceremony, and as a result, she later sought the artist to transform her without the need for any sedating herbs to keep her from feeling the pain as each imperfection was dismembering her body and magically perfected with enchantments. However, the enchanter warned her that there was a price to pay for such a transformation, and she would no longer be able to bear children. Despite this knowledge, Yennefer still chose to undergo the process, sacrificing her fertility in pursuit of power and beauty. Throughout the series, Yennefer's infertility becomes a significant emotional and personal struggle for her. She desperately longs to be a mother, yearning for the opportunity to have children of her own. This unfulfilled desire for motherhood and the sense of loss over her inability to bear children haunts her throughout her life. In the show, Yennefer attempts various methods to regain her fertility, including seeking a dragon's egg but all her efforts prove unsuccessful. The inability to conceive becomes a constant source of pain and regret for her, affecting her deeply and influencing her decisions and actions as she navigates the complexities of her life as a powerful sorceress. Despite her infertility, Yennefer's maternal instincts are not entirely extinguished. As the story progresses, she forms a deep bond with Ciri, becoming a mother figure to the young princess. This relationship brings her a sense of healing and fulfillment, providing her with a glimpse of the motherhood she could never experience experience biologically. The Mystery of Yennefer's Blindness As you're aware, the Battle of Sodden Hill is a pivotal event in both the books and the Netflix adaptation of The Witcher World. During this intense battle, Yennefer, along with Triss and the numerous other sorceresses, faced off against the Nilfgaardian army in a last stand to protect the Northern Kingdoms. In the books, Yennefer's blinding is attributed to Fringilla Vigo, who helped Nilfgaard consolidate his position within the continent as time passed. She never let go of the grudge against Yennefer snatching her position at age and made sure to see her suffer at any cost. The battle becomes a harrowing confrontation between the two mages, resulting in Yennefer being blinded by Fringilla's actions. In the Netflix series, The Battle of Sodden Hill was depicted as the season one finale, where Yennefer drew upon the fires set by the Nilfgaardian army to fuel her devastating attack, raining down fire all across Sodden, bringing an end to the battle for good. Although, the portrayal of the battle in the series might not have fully captured the true brutality and consequences 
causes of the conflict. Almost 22 mages died in that battlefield. Following the battle, Yennefer's bravery and display of power led her to become the youngest member of the Council of Wizards. As a reward for her valor, the Council used magic to restore her eyesight, which allowed her to physically regain her vision. But Yennefer was still left deeply scarred by the traumatic events of the battle, and the emotional impact of those events lingered on throughout her life. Decoding Yennefer's Ageless Existence The Witcher world from the books, TV series, and the games have successfully established Yennefer of Vengerberg's ageless existence owing to her mastery in magic. Her age is not explicitly revealed in the show, which leads us to speculate about her true age being masked by her ageless existence. In the Witcher universe, sorceresses have the ability to halt their aging through the use of powerful magic. Yennefer was born during the Bellatine in 1173 and graduated as a sorcerer from Eratusa when she was only 16 years old, leading her to the court of Adrin as the magical advisor. As many of you must have noted, Yennefer was born as a human, but her magical abilities granted her the power to slow down the aging process. By the time Yennefer met Geralt of Rivia in 1248, she was already 75 years old, even though she barely looked a day older than 20. So this encounter marked the beginning of their complex and intertwined relationship. Throughout the events of the Witcher series, Yennefer's timeline spans over 70 years, notably during the Battle of Sodden Hill, which took place in the first season finale in 1263, where Yennefer was 90 years old. But in the Netflix adaptation, Yennefer's story is explored from when she's approximately 14 years old to around 77 years old. This narrative style with multiple timelines can make calculating her exact age challenging. However, it's definitely evident that she's significantly older than she appears, even though her youthful appearance has not budged an inch. Lastly, in the Witcher video games, Yennefer's age is not explicitly stated. Still, based on the lore and information from the books, it can be estimated that during the events of the first game in 1271, she could be around 98 years old. Despite her actual age being much higher, Yennefer's magical abilities allow her to maintain an appearance that is much younger than her chronological age in all versions of the Witcher world, be it the games, books, or the Netflix show. Significance of Yennefer's Purple Eyes When Yennefer underwent her magical transformation, she asked the Enchanter to retain her eyes and the scars on her wrists from changing to keep as remnants of her true self. It's no news that her purple eyes make her one of the most captivating characters in the series. The color of her eye holds significant importance in the story and is a central aspect of her character's portrayal, both in the books and the Netflix adaptation. Yennefer's Purple Eyes are a creative choice made by Andrei Sapkowski, further adding to her allure and unique uniqueness. In the world of the Witcher, sorceresses often have unique physical traits, and Yennefer's purple eyes serve as a marker of her magical abilities and elven heritage, much similar to Tissa Marigold's vibrant lush hair and Geralt's white hair. Throughout the series, Yennefer's eyes are described as cold, sparkling, and penetrating with a remarkable violet gaze, acting as a key feature when portraying her emotions, such as when they blaze with livid blue fire gray in moments of anger or intensity. In contrast to Geralt's yellow cat-like eyes, which grant him enhanced night vision, Yennefer's purple eyes do not possess any functional abilities apart from marking her a woman of magical abilities. Instead, they're a purely aesthetic and symbolic element that differentiates her from others and enhances her portrayal as a powerful and captivating sorceress. Overall, Yennefer's purple eyes are a rare distinctive feature used to set her apart from the other characters in the Witcher series, making her visually striking and enigmatic, further representing her magical heritage, individuality, and adding depth to the complexity of her character's persona throughout the story arc. Why did Yennefer not die when she attempted suicide in The Witcher? Yennefer's attempt at suicide in The Witcher was a deeply troubling moment in her life. She felt overwhelmed by the pain of her past, the loneliness she experienced, and the uncertainty of her future. Despite being taken away from the abusive environment of her pig farm, the unknown and challenges she faced in Eratusa were daunting and contributed to her emotional distress. During her first night at Eratusa, Yennefer used a broken mirror shard to cut her wrist in attempts to end her life. Life. However, her attempt didn't go unnoticed, as she was discovered by someone, likely a staff member or another student, who intervened at the right moment and got her necessary help. Given that Eratusa was a renowned school for teaching magic, it's possible that magical healing was used to save her life under the guidance of Tessaya de Fries, the rectoress of Eratusa. Yennefer has always been grateful to Tessaya for giving her the identity and life she always craved for, and mages in the school possess advanced knowledge and skills in various magical arts 
arts, including healing. So, once she was discovered, magical healing could have employed to stabilize her condition. But Tessiah was always known for her stern and tough demeanor. When she learned about Yennefer's desperate act, she saw it as a display of weakness and admonished her for it. However, despite her harsh words, there seemed to be an underlying understanding from Tessiah about the pain and struggles that Yennefer was going through. It was also likely that Yennefer's will to survive played a crucial role. Even in the depths of despair, there might have been a part of her that yearned for a chance at a better life, a glimmer of hope that allowed her to hold on and accept help when it came. After the attempt, Yennefer's life took a significant turn. She continued her training as a mage, faced numerous challenges, and grew stronger emotionally and magically. The experiences and relationships she formed along the way, especially with Geralt and Ciri, contributed to her finding a sense of purpose and belonging, which helped her overcome her past traumas and struggles. The Mystical Arsenal of Yennefer in the Witcher World As one of the most powerful mages in the Witcher world, Yennefer wields a vast and potent range of magical abilities. Her powers encompass an array of skills that set her apart as a highly skilled sorceress. She possesses the gift of mind reading, allowing her to delve into the thoughts and emotions of others, granting her a significant advantage in understanding people's intentions and motivations. Apart from that, Yennefer's mastery over fire magic enables her to cast powerful fireballs and unleash devastating offensive attacks against her enemies as seen in the Battle of Sodden. Furthermore, Yennefer's talent for creating portals proves invaluable as it grants her the ability to instantaneously travel between different locations, providing strategic advantages in various situations. Her proficiency in illusions allows her to deceive and manipulate both adversaries and allies alike, making her a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield and in political intrigue. In addition to her offensive capabilities, Yennefer is also skilled in healing magic, despite the strain it places on her own body. This ability allows her to mend wounds and save countless lives in critical situations. She even healed Geralt when he was seriously injured with a pitchfork, but it left a huge strain on her body, causing her to black out for quite some time. And if that weren't enough, Yennefer's command over water manipulation allows her to summon water seemingly out of thin air, be it for dousing fires or creating defensive barriers. Her capabilities even extend to creation magic, enabling her to bring living beings and objects into existence, showcasing her profound command over the very fabric of life itself. Lastly, her morph magic allows her to change colors and even transform living beings into different forms further demonstrating her mastery over transformation magic. While not all her abilities are brought to the light in the Netflix adaptation, the Witcher books have intricately covered her vast and diverse mystical arsenal. Sorceress of Forever, Yennefer's Boundless Existence We have already discussed how Yennefer's timeline in the witch world can be a bit confusing, as she appears unchanged in her physical appearance despite several decades passing since her introduction, owing to her ageless existence. However, it's essential to clarify that Yennefer is not exactly immortal and is very much susceptible to death like any other mortal being. Now, mages in the witcher world use magic that can extend their lifespan significantly, potentially surpassing that of regular humans and even witchers, who have their own longevity due to mutations. Although not immortal, mages can live for a very long time due to the magical practices they employ. The magic they use helps slow down their aging process, allowing them to retain their youthful appearance and vigor over extended periods. This is why Yennefer, despite being nearly a hundred years old, appears to be around 20-something throughout the series. Like Geralt, Yennefer is not really exposed to dangers on a frequent rate, so it does make sense that mages comparatively live longer than witchers. Yennefer's transformation has always been one of the most unique and crucial canons in the witcher world. What she became after the procedure is a testament of the agency and power she never had as a child growing up in a society where she was only subjected to constant humiliation and mockery. She made sure that the world never took her for granted or robbed her of her individuality as Yennefer of Vengerberg. While she made her fair share of wrong decisions, Yennefer has always sought fulfillment from her life, which she's found during the time with with Geralt and Cirilla. While she always appears as an enigmatic mystery, Yennefer's grit and strong will are immensely striking attributes of her personality. She truly is the prime symbol of beauty and power in the Witcher world. And with that, we have covered almost everything about the physiological intricacies of the ravishing Yennefer of Vengerberg. Leading us to the very end of this video, please don't forget to let us know in the comments below about your favorite canon event involving the mesmerizing Yennefer of Vengerberg.